Hello lovely people, welcome to The Geek Covered, I am Penj and welcome to City of Gangsters, which is a turn-based gangster management game set in the time of Prohibition in the USA. So we're going to play as some sort of young, hopeful gangster type who wants to make some money by producing and selling alcohol, which is not easy on account of it being utterly and entirely illegal. So we will be producing our own alcoholic drinks to sell, we drive around the town buying and selling various bits and bobs, we then have to earn the trust of the locals, we expand our territory a little bit, we set up fronts for selling our stuff, we can have protection rackets, we have to avoid the cops, it's the whole gangster deal. It just looks wonderful and of course because it's turn based we can take our time which is splendid. I can sip up my tea and there is no rush which is all very lovely indeed. So as you can see at the bottom there this is a preview build, this is a kind of alpha build of the game so it's not the finished version at all, it is very very much still in development. The planned release date is currently according to Steam the third quarter of this year. So this is a very very early look indeed but the key did come courtesy of the publishers which is splendid. So Thank you very much publishers and just to point out that the devs of the game are Somasim and the publishers are Casido Games both of whom worked on Project High Rise and I adore Project High Rise I think it's wonderful so I am very very much looking forward to this so let's just go shall we let's stop dilly dallying and let's go and sell some moonshine Okay, so first things first, we've got to set up our new game. So let's go to the map files. There are a few of these that we can choose from. We can choose to play in either Chicago, Detroit, on a mini test map, or in Pittsburgh. I think we will leave this on Chicago for now. That's fine. That's the default option. It's at the top of the list. And I am sure Chicago is absolutely lovely in the 1920s. I'm sure it's a splendid place to go and be. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it on Chicago. Then we have a random start value. Now, right now, this is a big number, but we can change this to whatever we like. So let's just put in the word T into here. There we go. Lovely. So our random start value is T. It has changed our character down here. Now, I imagine we can change that back. So nationality. So we got British in this list. No, we have not. We've got English. OK, we'll play as an English gangster type. So, you know, a nice sort of well-spoken English gangster sort of person. Right. We will be uh, we'll be Penge Cupboard, of course. And there we go. I quite like that. I like the idea of playing as a sort of a well-spoken, well-dressed kind of English gangster who as well as offering the variety of lovely illegally produced alcoholic beverages can also offer a range of teas as well. I quite like that idea. So there we go. We shall be Penge Cupboard, the English gangster who can offer some lovely teas to go with your illegally brewed moonshine and your dodgy beer and all that kind of stuff. So yep, absolutely. There we go. Everything is set up. Let's go to Chicago. And here we go. So welcome everybody to Chicago in the year 1920 or more specifically Welcome to Chicago on June the 1st in the year 1920 because yes we do have a proper date in the game that's because each turn of the game lasts five days and sometimes you might have little missions and things pop up that you need to complete by a certain date so that's why we need to know what the date is and yes as you can see we're on turn number one which means that everything is all lovely and turn based we can take our time there is no rush at all. We can take our time. We can have a look around. It can just go at a nice leisurely pace, which I do like. I do like a nice turn-based game. So what are we looking at here? This area here is our neighborhood. So all the buildings that are kind of lit up in proper, yeah, they're properly sort of colored in. They're not this sort of, what is that? Like a beige sort of color. All these buildings here are buildings that we are relatively familiar with. We've driven around these streets before and we know what these buildings are about and what they're like and such like. So there we go. So this is our sort of our neighborhood that we know about. It's not very big. It's not very big, but you know, we can expand it. But if we zoom out and look at the size of the actual city itself, that's quite nice. I like seeing the word cupboard in big letters down there. That looks very lovely. But if we look at the um, actual size of the city, it is, it is huge. It is very, very vast indeed. And in theory, you could go and drive around to all these streets and, you know, set up little sort of little fronts on all of these places. It's just huge. It's really, really vast. So let's try and get back to, I might have gone too far away. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> let's try and come back toward our little bit. So here we go. So yeah, this is where we're sort of based. And if you can see, there is a, um, a little sort of a blue square around this corner here. The game is kind of based around controlling street corner type thing. So all these little sort of junctions between the streets, we want to control as many of those as we can because that means we've got more access to more buildings and more sort of uh, businesses that we can then set up as fronts and we can use them as production houses and all that kind of stuff. So at the moment, we only own this little place just here. We only own this one little sort of, uh, we don't own it, I suppose, we control it in a sort of, you know, in a gangstery sort of way. We administer it, let's say that, this one place here, but we can go and sort of get other places as well. 
we can start moving around trying to expand our influence and what have you there's a little train hello little train that's quite nice i did not see you in my little sort of trial run that i did that's exciting and here we are so we're down here we're in this little car we've got a car which is all very fancy and there's our little profile so we're referred to as muscle I assume maybe you can have different kind of player types, but whatever. We're referred to as muscle, and so we have some traits. Okay, okay, I didn't see these when I did my little sort of trial run either. So we're nervous. Nervous types are a bit more expensive to bribe and take a bit more finesse to involve in illegal activity. I mean, I think we might have got over the illegal activity thing, given that, yeah, <laughs> we're going to be a gangster. But okay, that's fine. We're friendly. That's lovely. Decreases the cost of gaining control of a new building. That's very handy. Decreases impact of negative social actions. Okay. And we're ugly. So we make a good enforcer. Okay. We have no experience and we're carrying some stuff around in our vehicle. There we go. Lovely. So that's us. And then we have ourselves this building here. So this building is under our control the northern warehouse and storage so they actually yeah we, we can go and interact with these people so they're controlled by our outfit in fact it's owned by rose cupboard who is our aunt and we can go and have a chat with her if we like so we can go hello rose cupboard you're the owner of this place she owes us some favors now you will see that dotted around the place that little sort of symbol hand with a kind of red ticket that can come out of it um there you can see it there and there. So these places, these places here, they owe us favours. And then Rose Cupboard here, she owes us some favours as well. So yeah, you can have a little chat. You can just have a little chat with people if you like. This business has excessive amounts of malt syrup just sitting around. If we ask nicely, they may sell it to us. So Rose has got loads of malt syrup just hanging around the place. I mean, yeah, so you can either cash in your favour or you can just say, I'll see you around. At the minute, we'll just we'll come back and talk to her if we want to. So yes, this place is a warehouse. So what does it do legally? So legally, this place is just a warren of shelves and storage racks. Small warehouse is a maze of crates, boxes, and barrels. And production details, every 20 days, it will make 12 malt syrup. So that's what this place will do. It will make malt syrup. I don't know what we do with the malt syrup right now. I imagine at some point in the future, we will make beer with it, I'm going to guess. But right now, I don't know what we can do with that. But okay, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. It does make something, which is handy. And then over here, we can see that it's got a bit of storage space. So currently, in the actual storage, you know, over there in the building, there's $50 in there. There are 125 units of homemade beer. Wow. So they're in these crocs, which are like sort of... Uh, like kind of um, like a sort of pottery jug type thing, like a big jar type thing. Uh, there's some lumber, there is some malt syrup, and there is also some lovely moonshine as well. Of course there is. And we can choose to load this stuff into our vehicle if you want. We have a vehicle currently in the car. We've got $100 and a baseball bat. Do you know what? We might want to move the $100 out. I don't think we need to carry it around with us right now. We might as well put all our money in here. Because then if we do get stopped by the cops, if the cops do catch up with us and say, oh, you're doing something illegal, then um, they might take our money off us. So we might as well just put the money in here where it's a little bit safer. So yeah, okay, there we go. We'll move some money over. So now what do we want to do? What do we want to do? We want to go and make ourselves a bit of money. Because if we go back in here and look just here, there is a lot of space in the back of the building away from prying eyes. So where people are not going to see, we can set up a new operation. So we can set up either a home brewing operation, a moonshine operation, a cider operation, or a brick wine operation. I mean, I don't even know what brick wine is. It doesn't sound very nice, but okay. Grape concentrate is perfectly legal. Just take care not to add water and leave it. That could turn alcoholic. That would be illegal. Oh my goodness me. Heaven forbid such a thing would happen. So um, so yeah, we can set these things up. We do need quite a bit of money to set these up. Like to set up a moonshine operation. It costs 1,000 monies. Home brewing is 600. Cider is 800. Brick wine is 700. So there is a bit of money involved in this. But fortunately, we've got all this stuff that we can sell. We've got homemade beer and we've got moonshine that we can go and try and sell to somebody. So what we can do is, let's have a little look around. We've got these filters up here. So let's go to the resource overlays. Let's see who would like to buy some homemade beer. Nobody in the local area. Okay, that is unfortunate. Okay, does anyone want to buy moonshine? Aha, right. This person down here on the corner would like to buy some moonshine. Okay, so they're down here. So they're out of our sort of um, our control area, if you like. But we can work on this. 
absolutely. So let's go down here and have a little chat with uh, have a chat with you. So what we can do is we get in our car and we have ourselves three action points and ten movement points. So they're completely different things. So action points are interacting with people and interacting with things, and movement points are just driving around the map. So if we do this, because we've been here, because this is an area that we're familiar with, it's only going to cost us one movement point. So we can drive down here. Take take that off. It makes it look a little bit tidy, doesn't it? There we go. Right, so we can have a chat with uh, with the people here. So this is Burton's Sandwich Counter. Okay, let's have a little chat with you. So Calvin Burton. Okay, so what do you have to sell or want to buy? So now we know that he wants to buy some moonshine. So here we go. So I want to sell moonshine. We could also sell some cigarettes, but here we go. So um, yeah, he's in the market for both those things. So I want to sell some moonshine. I might have some in the car. Let's talk about the cost. Yeah, he's willing to pay at the moment $20 per croc, which is yeah like a unit. So how about, let's talk about the cost. Let's talk about the cost of this stuff. So we can either sell it cheap, in which case his reputation with us will go up, I imagine, because he'll like us. We could sell it normally, or we could try and get 20% more. We could say, do you know what? Give us more money for this. Now that might affect our reputation just there. Okay, but I think right now, we need to get as much money as possible. We need to get as much money as possible to set up our own little kind of production thing. So it might annoy this guy, but let's see. What's our reputation? 22. So let's ask for that. Yeah, it goes down to 15. So it's not ideal, but fine. 24 it is. Okay, that's still fine. That's still fine. And um, yeah, I've got some in the car right now. How much do you want to buy? I oh, know. Oh no, we haven't got any in the car. Hang on, we haven't got any in the car right now. Please hold the line, sir. I'm just going to nip up the road. <laughs> Wait there, hang on. We go to here. We have to get the moonshine um, and load it in. Yeah, there we go. That's what we didn't do last time. I can't remember how much he wanted, but was it between, was it about 15? I can't remember, but whatever. We'll just, we'll take 20 units of it. That's all fine. Right, hang on. I'm, I'm coming back. I think that deal still holds. So what do you want to do? Moonshine. Yeah, 24 per croc. So yeah, that's fine. I have some in the car right now. So he wants to buy 13. Okay. So if we do that, move 13 over to him. So we're going to make $312 on this. Okay, that's fine. So we'll do that. Sell that. Lovely stuff. However, we now have two favours with him because we've just sold him some good stuff, which is nice. We've been doing business together and he likes that sort of thing. I wonder... If it's worth having a chat with this guy and maybe seeing if we can start getting control of this corner over here. So, okay, we've got a good relationship and you said you'd be willing to help me out however you can. Let's discuss that. Okay, so this one here improves your relationship with a common friend if you have one in common or our outfit wants to expand our territory and take over this part of the city. I want you to run a front for us in your fine establishment. Calvin Burton, owner of Burton Sandwich Counter, would you like to become a front for the cupboard mob? <laughs> is is that something that you're interested in? So let's see. What exactly is involved with running one of these fronts for you? It's pretty simple. First, we need to get locals on our side and gain some respect as benevolent protectors. So keep your ear to the ground for any opportunities to throw some money around for a good cause. Got it so far? So we say that. I sure do. What happens then once your respect is spread? Once people know about us and we control a new corner, so that's when it goes blue, our outfit will extend an offer of protection to local businesses. We'll help protect our friends from misfortune. In exchange, they will come here to drop off some envelopes, entirely regular envelopes, not full of cash. I'll need you to collect them from me and not ask any questions. I know you're hesitant, so I'll throw in $160 to sweeten the deal. Okay, I wasn't aware that was a thing, but okay, there we go. It would be an honor to work for you. Okay. So we get ourselves a new front, we spend 160 monies, and it uses up one of those favours. Okay, we'll do that. There we go. Ooh, we get a little postcard. A new corner now acknowledges that you and your crew are in charge around here. Everyone knows who you are now and that you mean business. Oh, we've got the we've got the corner. We've now got two corners under our control. Oh, it is grand indeed. Okay, that's very exciting. And then we've got a thing here as well. What is this? Josephine Walker of Walker's five cents and 10 cents shop. Okay, what do you want to buy? Um, I, we can buy bottles off you. Okay, however, what's this? I have great news. We've taken control of this corner. Things will be better now around here. Ah, can we get some money off her for this? Can we do a little bit of a protection racket thing here? Glad to hear someone is taking charge. Things can get better. 
Uh, that's good of you to say, but we should make things better together. Yep, there we go. But on to assist, how can I help? Even a small monthly contribution of $20 would help this neighborhood immensely. Calvin Burton will be collecting them. He lives across the road. You probably had his sandwiches. So, yeah, what have we got? 22 reputation with her. It's down to three. Oh, she's not very happy. That's extortion. I guess I have no choice. Ah, yeah, they don't like being extorted. I mean, it's quite good that we're friendly. That's helping out a little bit. But okay, there we go. So on to other things. And can we, what can we do for her? Can we use this favor with her? How about... What's that? Do you know anyone buying what I've got for sale or selling anything I need? Get an introduction to someone useful. We've got a load of beer. We need to sell all that beer. So do you know anyone buying what I've got for sale? Okay. I hear you have some inventory that might be hard to get rid of these days. You should meet my friend Henry. Okay. Tell me more. Where is Henry? Henry is over there. I trust your judgment. Please put in a good word for me. I was only over there. Oh, that's fine. We can pop over and see Henry at some point. Yeah, okay. We'll um, use up our favour with her, and then we'll maybe go and have a chat with Henry. Okay, it's opened all that stuff up. Morgan's American... It's in a tea shop. It, it It is meant to be. It was absolutely meant to be. There we go, an American tea shop. Right, maybe... Have we got any movement points left? Seven. I don't think we can get there, can we? Oh, no, it's two. It's only two movement points. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Let's drive over there. We've got no action points remaining, however. We've got no action points. We can't do anything whilst we're here. I suppose we can just poke our head in and say hello. So Henry Morgan, cakes and pies here are top rate, say the locals. This establishment does a brisk business selling small packages from the back door in small dark bottles without labels. I see. Obviously, yeah, yeah bottles of tea, I assume. Right, but no action points. So we can't do anything right now. However, if we just go to next turn, some time will pass. What's that? You learned about a new resource, barley. Surely we were aware of barley before. Surely we knew that that was an important thing to do with alcohol production. But okay, um, it makes for hearty soups. Yep, yeah, delicious. And rumour has it something fizzy. Yeah, I have heard. Right, let's go to here then. So, pop into the tea shop, get us a cup of tea, which would be nice. And what do you have to sell or want to buy? He wants to sell, uh, yeah, I want to sell. Sorry, I want to sell homemade beer to him. Wonderful. So he's willing to buy beer. So yes, we can sell those things. Or oh, no, an unknown resource. Something that we don't know yet, we can sell to him. Okay, right. Wait there. We'll come back in a sec because we have not got uh, got that on us right now. We've got seven moonshine. Um, hang on. Come back this way then. Now it's a new turn. I assume. Can we sell you some more moonshine? I've got some in the car. He wants to buy one. Do you know what? Absolutely. It's $24 we didn't have previously. And then we'll pop over to this street corner here and we will go and grab a bit of homemade beer. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Right, in fact, put all the money in just in case we get got by the cops. So throw all the money into there. So $326 to our name. We need a little bit more for the whole, you know, sort of production thing, but it's fine. And then let's get ourselves... I don't know, 40... Oh, why can't we have any more? Oh, the car's full. Right, I've loaded the car up with a massive load of beer. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That would make sense. I kind of get that. Can we get back there? Yes, we can. We there we go. And let's go into here. Um, buying and selling. Okay, I want to sell homemade beer. He's buying it at eight per crock, but we've got a lot of it. We've got a lot of it. It probably would be quite good if we could be friends with him. Let's talk about the cost. So a 20% discount. Oh, crikey, what's that going to come down to? About six per croc? But how many is he willing to buy? Hang on. Oh, no, but now we've gone into this thing here. Do we just go on the regular price? I don't think we should rip him off because we've not got that much reputation with him. Do we go for just the average price or do we try and offer him a good deal and then maybe get his reputation with us up a little bit? Let's do that, sure. We've got loads of it. 20% discount. So now he's going to buy it at 6.40. Okay, I've got some in the car right now. He wants to buy 32 crocs worth. Is that what we had? That's not too far off what we had, I think. Yeah, we had 33. That's going to make us $204.80. Pleasure doing business with you, my good sir. That is splendid. Okay, right. Happy with that. Well, we've got four movement points left. What can we do with that? Can we get back home? Yes, we can. Right. 
So pop back home and let's drop the stuff off. So yeah, throw the money back into there because we might as well. And oh no, hang on, I've, I've got to excess it with that. And we'll put the we'll put the moonshine in as well, just in case something happens. Just in case something happens. We've got one action point left. We've not really popped into this place. Marta's Cafeteria. Okay. Hi, Marta Lebedev. How are you? Um, I have great news. We've taken control of this corner. Things will be better now around here. Okay, yeah, we'll get them to pay us some money. There you go. $20. Calvin Burton will be collecting them. Is she gonna like that, though? Um, that's more than I can afford right now. I must, uh, must decline. Surely you can understand. Decline? That wouldn't be nice. You know what happens to businesses when a neighborhood has no protection. Destroy property. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I'll give you a bit of time to think it through. My goodness me. <laughs> I'm not that type of person. Would you like some tea instead? Um, okay. What's this then? What can we do with her favor? Do a bit of support with a common friend. Improve your relationship with a common friend if you have one in common. Or we could run a front. Oh, no, it's fine. We've already got somebody running a front. That's okay. We don't need another one. Okay, this is looking pretty good. What's that? Marta Lebedev. Oh, is not complying with our demands. Do you know what? It's fine for now. It's fine for now. We'll um, we'll let her off for the moment. It might be worth trying to get up onto this corner here. Because it looks like there's something very interesting just there. But also, there's a bowling alley over there. A dairy. And there's a thing here that we're not sure about. The Musil Family Hardware. So ideally, we want to control all of this stuff around here. That would be the best thing. But right now... We go to the next turn. So we get our action points back. We get our movement points back. Okay. Right. Let's grab. I think we can sell some more stuff to that guy. So let's go into here. So we'll grab some stuff out of here. So we'll grab some moonshine. Hang on. Grab a bit of moonshine. And then grab some more homemade beer. There we go. Lovely stuff. And then we will pop down to this junction. We will go to here. We will... Oh, how is our front doing? That's my idea. So I had to bolster the locals' respect for your outfit. Let's talk about the locals. I need to expand my territory out here. Okay. Right, let's do that then. I have an idea for what to do for the next block over. I had a woman come in asking for help. Her husband died during the Great War, and now she's having trouble making ends meet. I think helping out some poor widows and elderly would bring you renown. Your cost will be $10 right away, and then $10 on the first of each month. Your territory may expand to that corner over the next few turns. We currently... Oh, why can't we do that? Current cash is zero. Oh, we're, we're holding no money. Okay, no, hang on. I'll think about it. Hang on. I'll come back to this later. Wait there. Um, right, hang on. Yeah, let, let me just go and grab some coins. Let me just grab a tiny bit of money. Please hold the line. Right, load the vehicle. Uh, we'll take, I don't know, $30 with us. There we go. Back down to here. Talk to you. How is the front doing? Yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That sounds like a good idea. So yeah, we'll start, we'll, we'll help this poor this poor woman whose husband died during the Great War. So we're helping out widows and then the elderly as well. Aren't we kind? Aren't we lovely indeed? So there we go. That is lovely. And then we have some stuff that you might want to buy. Got some in the car, a couple of crocs of moonshine for 48 monies. Splendid stuff. And then we'll head over to Chappie just here. So we will stop by here. And would we like to sell some homemade beer? I've got some in the car. Another five. That's $32 that we didn't have before. Now we're unfortunately out of out of action points. There is a building here that we don't know what this is. And there as well. Do you know what? We'll end our turn. Ooh. What's that? <gasps> the cops. The cops are here. They know that something's going on. We're just helping. We're helping widows and the elderly, officer. It's fine. It's all good. Um, I think... Can we scope that out? Yeah, we can scope these out for an action point. So, okay. So, what's going on in here? Oh, Louis Corner. You sell lovely ice creams. Okay. Let's talk about buying and selling. You want to sell... Oh, he's only after cigarettes. That is unfortunate. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We need to find somebody... We need to find somebody else that wants to buy the beer because we've got one place to buy the moonshine and one uh, to sell the moonshine sorry and one place to sell the beer we need other places so i think what we need to do is maybe we'll pop into here and we'll have a chat with you um improve your relationship with a common friend oh no that's not what we want we want to ask him about other people other buyers 
Okay, that's not going to work, is it? That's not going to work. Is that a police station? That's a police station right there. That is somewhat unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> right, the police are operating under our nose. Can we drive past the police? Can we drive past them? Or are they going to stop us? Because we have got $110 and a load of beer and a load of moonshine in the car. I'd rather they didn't stop us and they took it off us. But I suspect... Hang on. Maybe we can go around this way. That's going to take six of our movement points because we've not been here before. So we've not been to this place before. We have... Do you know what? Gross sawmills. Okay, we'll pop into here. So we've found a new place. Buying and selling. Um, buy lumber and buy barrels. Okay, so we can just buy stuff off those. Okay, that's fine. Never mind for now and cheerio. So they're just purely a selling sort of place. Okay, that's fine. Can we get back? Oh, no. Go to one to just there. There we go. We've got one more action point. Uh, Alvin's Coffee and Tea Shop or the Green Table. It does sound intriguing. No, we'll go for Alvin's Coffee and Tea Shop. Hi, Alvin. I'm going to pop in. Can I have a tea? And we've not got enough action points anymore. Okay. Can we? I don't suppose we can make it home, can we? That does take two. Hang on. I think we can get home. I just want to put all our stuff away <laughs> before the cops take it off us. I'm a bit worried they're going to rob all our stuff away. There we go. And put the money in as well. Okay. Lovely. So now we'll end our turn. The police do come and bother us. No, nope, they've, they've left us alone. Okay. That's fine. Marta, can we have a chat with you? Can we chat with you? There you go. Do you know anyone buying what I've got for sale or selling anything I need? We'll use our favour with her just to see if... Um, if she can reveal to us anybody would like to buy some beer or moonshine. Because it's going to take a long time to get whatever money we needed. Was it 800 or something? I can't remember now. But do you know anybody? Um, you should meet my friend Alan. Okay. Tell me more. Alan lives up here. Okay. That sounds good. We'll pop up the road and have a chat with Alan. There we go. So we've got three action points left. So, okay. Alan's Accurate Service Centre. <laughs> Better than uh, better than Brian's inaccurate service centre next door. Oh no, it's Boulevard Painters. Right, okay. Reveal that and reveal that, because we might as well. Um, okay. Word on the street says they want to talk to us. Okay. I hear you're a well-connected person. Perhaps I could ask you about something. You've got a good hat. Good hat, Alan. Um, yeah, okay. I'm listing. Heard a bit of a rumour that you can get your hands on some interesting potent liquids. <laughs> Is that true? Uh, I've access to homebrew and I'm looking for a distribution partner or, you know, a person that just wants to get completely smashed on homebrew. OK, so, um, yeah, you would like to bring five bits of homebrew over as just oh, like a sample. OK, yeah, OK, I'll be back in a second. Hang on. Um, and then buying and selling. He wants to buy bottles. I know I want to buy bottles and crocs. That might come in useful. The stoneware crocs might come in useful. It won't, you know, whenever we're able to make our own stuff. Okay, right, goodbye for now. So come back here. Let's pop over here for two movement points. We still have the one action point left. Right, pop into here. And let's get us, let's get us a little bit of, oh, hang on a minute, no, let's do that. There we go, let's do it properly. Get us, press the button, there we go, do it in turns. Get us $30 out, that seems like a respectable amount of money to be carrying around. And then he wanted, want at least five of those. But then, yeah, we're able to then sell him some more afterwards. Because he might like it. And then go, brilliant, yes, I'll buy loads of it. So let's take that many. Let's fill the car up with, with big crocks of beer. There we go. And come back up here for two movement points. And go and ha have a chat with that. There you go. I've got the things you're waiting for. Deliver five crocks. That's the closest to actual beer I've had in a while. I'd be happy to offer that to my customers. Are we in business? Yes, Alan. Absolutely we're in business. Oh, look. Chin chin with wine glasses, but okay, it's fine. Yeah, whatever, whatever you can put the stuff into. You're a generous person by nature, so of course you helped out when asked and made a new friend. And of course, friends help friends when asked. And we have a favour with him as well. That's quite good. Ah, uh, we've got no action points. Oh, that's very unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that we could sell some stuff to him. Okay, never mind, never mind. What can we do with a favour? Can you get me in with some local troublemakers? What? Why would we want to do that? <laughs> That sounds like a terrible idea. Why would we want to get involved with local troublemakers? I think there are local troublemakers on the map. Is that them over here? Yeah. Phyllis. Phyllis. What is it? Phyllis Ellis. Ellis and the crew. I mean, I wouldn't mess with her. 
I would not mess with her at all, simply on account of the hat. I wonder if... You know what? Let's, let's ask him. Let's ask him. We might as well. We can do that. But about a favour, can you get me in with some local troublemakers? I believe met Glenn Brown. I can put in a good word. Oh, no, I was thinking more Phyllis. Phyllis and the hat. Glenn Brown leads a local troublemakers named Brown's Crew. Tell me more. Oh, they're really far away. They're a bunch of loafers that would spend every day at the pool hall if they could. But if they like you, maybe we can get them to help you out. Goodness knows we've got nothing better to do. Do you know what? Why not? Let's use this favour up. Why not? We might as well. Yeah, your good word will be appreciated. Okay, so now, what's that? A new connection, Glenn Brown. Hopefully this introduction will prove useful in the future. Okay, well, we will see. We will see. Right, we might as well just go to the next turn. Hope the cops don't come and get us. Pench Cupboard has gained experience from all the hard work. Select what ability they should improve. Oh, this is wonderful. So... What do we want to do? Now, currently, yeah, this is just us. This is just us on our own. But as we expand, we can pick up more people. So this is us levelling up Penge Cupboard. But yeah, we could hire more people and they could level up as well. But this is directly us. So what do we want? Increase the number of action points. Increase the number of movement points. Or be better at fighting. A well-known brawler. And there's a picture of a gun. I don't... That's, that's shooting. Brawling is all fisticuffs, isn't it? I think the number of action points might be quite useful. Let's get that increase. Efficient driver is fine. We don't need that so much. Yeah, action points. Yes, please. Oh, there we go. Your crew is becoming more time efficient. My crew of me, but okay. They're starting to understand the urgency of the opportunity in front of them. Right, you are. Okay, so let's go to here. Talk about selling. Right, finally, here we go. <gasps> we can sell moonshine to him as well. Okay, let's talk about the cost. 20 pounds. If we could get 20% more from him, that would be quite good. Because the moonshine... Oh, but hang on. Is it better? Hang on. Hang on. We've got loads of beer, haven't we? Maybe we should get 20% more on the beer. Do you know what? Yeah. Average price for that. That's fine. And I might have some in the car. Uh, oh, what have I got in the car? I've got nothing in the car. Hang on a second. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, uh, putting stuff in a car, Malarkey. Hang on a second. Right. Load the vehicle with some moonshine. There we go. Right. I've got moonshine now. Wait a sec. I'm coming back. I'm coming. There we go. Hi, uh, I've used up one of my action points on that interaction that did nothing. Okay. I've got some in the car right now, would you believe? There we go. Sell that. $100. And what about the beer? Okay. Let's talk about the cost. You can't negotiate prices just yet. Okay. Never mind. Um, right. He wants to buy another 12. So yeah, we'll take that. Another $96. Lovely stuff. We've got $806.80. We're so close to being able to make other things. Okay, this is fine. Can he put me in touch with somebody else who wants to buy our stuff? No. Okay, no. Right, that's that done. I think we go back home. We go to here. We load all of our money back and, and, the, and the beer, which I'll no doubt forget about. Let's put all of our money into one great big place just so we don't lose it. There we go. $806.80 lying around in there. We've got quite a lot of beer left. We do have quite a lot of beer. Okay, can we find other... Can we find other other places that can tell us where people might be willing to buy our stuff? Because we've not, you know, we've not got too many people that want to buy our stuff right now. So how about we have a chat with you? Okay, this... No, that's support with a person. Okay. What if we come down here? Hello, officer. What about you? What about this shop here? Oh, we've not got a thing with her. We've not got a uh, favour with her. Let's talk business. Ah, but she's a little bit edgy because the police are outside. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. We've got five favours with this guy. Oh, my goodness me. How is her expansion coming along? Um. Okay, we're working on winning over the locals. It shouldn't be long. Okay, I'll come back to that later. And let's talk business. He's also a bit nervous because of the cops. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. That is... That is entirely understandable. What if we go over here? Can we go over here? What about this place then? The NT Lebedev Complete Truck Storage. Wasn't that owned by a Lebedev? Is that Marta Lebedev? Okay, there's another Lebedev over here. Um, you fix vehicles. Uh, you might be going to pick up truck. About that favour you owe me. Okay, so he owes us a favour or we'll just go away. Okay, I could use a bit of support with a common friend. And again, 
Again, I want somebody to I want somebody to be able to sell more stuff to. I also could do with the police going away, let's be completely honest. <laughs> that would also be quite useful. Maybe we should try and expand over here. Let's get to the next turn. So go to the next turn. Lovely, lovely. Right. Maybe have the police gone. Ah, the police have finally cleared off. Now where are they? Are they somewhere over there? Right, they're over there. They're over there. So they're out of our way for now. So I think what we can do is we can come back here. And now, again, we can load up with some moonshine and quite a chunk of the homemade beer. And then we should be able to go to here so we can sell this guy. Ah, there's a tick. How's our expansion coming along? Working on it. I believe you have something for me. Ah, have you got some money for us? Ah, I've collected $10 for you. We collected $20 minus 10 in cost. Okay, right. We might need to get some more people involved in the protection racket, I suspect. <laughs> That's not bringing too much money, but okay. Um, right, would you like some moonshine? I have some in the car at this very moment. In fact, you've got all of my moonshine. So there you go. You enjoy it, please. Right, this lady here. Oh, it's about bottles, wasn't it? Okay, that's fine. But that envelope, I think that means that she is part of our protection racket thingamajig. So come over to here. Has this lady thought about it yet? Let's talk about that proposition I had for you. Glad his one is taking charge. Ah, right. She's come round. Okay, yeah. Um, oh no. No, she hasn't. Nope. She's still she's still not going for it. Okay, fine, we'll ponder it. What do you want to buy? Cigarettes. Haven't got any of those right now, unfortunately. What does that do? That just boosts your relationship with a common friend. Right, let's pop up to here then. Go to here. Go and see this guy. Hello, I've got a great big load of beer. Would you like Ugh, only three? That's not very much at all. 24 monies from that. Better than nothing, I suppose. Better than nothing. Okay. Can you... Ah, no. What is that? Why can't we do that? Territory expansion active. Ah, because no, because he's too far away. We need to come down here, I think. Would we need to get this guy on board? Territory expansion inactive. Why can we not expand our territory? Okay, not entirely sure what's going on there. What about these places over here? Can we expand over here? Okay, I don't know why territory expansion is inactive. I don't know why that's a thing. Is it because we're working on something over here? We can only expand one thing at a time. Maybe we need to wait. Ah, this front is actively working on expanding your territory. Okay, we've got to wait for that bit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's have a chat with you. What do you want to do? Nothing much at all. Okay. Uh, yeah, wow, it's incredibly dull over there. Okay, nothing happening there. And then the dairy, what do you want to do? We can buy bottles off you, which would make perfect sense. Okay, Alice Weaver, we might come back to you at some point. Um, uh, okay, can we get down here then? No, unfortunately not. We can get to here, that's fine. We can drive over to there. So go to next turn. Where are the police? Up there now, that's fine. Right, so we'll come down to here. We'll pop over to see the guy in the tea shop. Here's some homemade beer. Got some in the car. 22 crocs. Oh, yes. Wonderful stuff. In comes the money. 140 of your monies. And there we go. We've got 1,000, well, over $1,000 now, which is very good. Okay, what about this? Still can't do the territory expansion thing. Okay, pop back to here. Can we talk to this guy yet? How's it coming along? It's still taking a while. Okay, go back to here. Let's drop off. All of the things, so put the homemade beer into there and put all our money in. There we go. Lovely stuff. And now I think what we do is let's set up a new operation. Let's get something going here. So at the moment we've just got an empty room in the back. Nobody comes this way. It's got some old kind of bottles and stuff in. Let's get something new in this particular place. The only thing is, what do we go for? What do we go for? So back room home brew requires malt syrup and stoneware crocs. We can buy stoneware crocs from the guy at the top of the road, so that's fine. And that makes 50 homemade beer every 20 days. So every four turns, we will get 50 homemade beer. Okay, and it'll cost us 600 monies. And yeah, we've got these, these things already. We've got these kind of big blocks of lumber lying around the place, so that's quite fortunate. So that's okay, so that requires malt syrup and the crocs. The moonshine requires neutral alcohol. We don't have any of that. 
So we're going to struggle making moonshine. The cider requires obviously apples and the brick wine requires grape concentrate, which you should, yeah, you should not mix with water and leave it for a bit. It looks like we're going to have to go for this. We could have done this a long time ago, but at least we've got a bit of extra money. So, okay, it's going to take five turns to get that done. So yeah, let's build this. Let's get home brewing done because we generate this in our, in our sort of building here. For some reason, I don't quite know why a storage building would generate malt syrup, but whatever we do. So yeah, that's the most likely thing that we can do. So yeah, okay, we'll build one of those, please. So we're significantly poorer now, but at some point soon we will be able to do this. Oh, expansions available. Steam sanitizer. What's all this? Adds a small boiler to your operation, increases production by 10%. And that, what does that do? Production tracking. That's something to do with the manager but we haven't got a manager. Okay, I like the fact there's little extra bits and upgrades as well. Oh, this is very exciting. There's so many wonderful things. Okay, but right now we can't do anything at the moment. We just got to sit and wait for that to sort of, uh, wait for that to tick by. Yeah, we've not got many people that we can protection racket. Uh, you know, I mean, sorry, offer protection to for a small voluntary payment, of course. Um, we could do with this thing finishing. We could do with this territory expansion thing finishing because it's just taken ages. It's just taking an awfully long time. Um, do you know what? We've got ourselves quite a lot of quite a lot of action points left. I mean, is it worth? Can we just get some beer back in the car? Just put it all in the car, actually. Right? There we go. Thirty-nine units of it. Uh, we'll drive up here. I don't think we've seen this guy today, have we? So uh, yeah, would you like some beer? We want two crocs. Do you know what? Absolutely. Yeah, take that. Did that guy want anything? He, uh, we can buy barrels off that guy. Oh no, not that guy, sorry, that lady, I apologize. Uh, Zlata Frolov, good name. Uh, and can we come back to here? Does anybody want to buy anything? Nothing at all. Okay, you want, I bet you don't want beer though, dear. Your cigarettes are moonshine. Okay, never mind. Right, end our turn. Is that done? Nope, it's still not finished. It's still not finished. My goodness me. My goodness me. If you could hurry things up, that would be great, please, my good sir, because we're waiting. We're waiting to expand our territory, but we need you to get on with it, please. So, yeah, if you could get a wriggle on with that, that'd be good. Let's pop over to the tea guy. There we go. The tea guy likes the uh, likes the beer. So, hello, some homemade beer. I've got some in the car. Um, yeah, okay. Let's sell five lots of that for 32 of your monies. Offer to sell. Yeah, he likes us a lot got lots of favors with him in fact can we do something with this that's just again support with a common person do you know what we might as well just have a drive around we might as well just sort of cover the local area a little bit while we're driving around not able to do much else let's go down to here and then we'll go over to here so that's five movement points because we've never been to this corner before but let's see what there is there are a couple of buildings oh and there's a little park Oh no, hang on, is that a park or is that a... Oh no, that, okay, no, it's a, it's a graveyard. It's a little bit of a graveyard. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> it's not quite as, not quite as lovely as I thought it might have been, but okay, never mind. Right, so I'll drive around there. We'll go to next turn. Ooh. Ah, we've, we've got the corner. Your respect is rising in the city. Another new corner has been added to your cruise territory. So there we go. We now have this corner under our control. Let's pop over and see what's going on. We've got the German Deli and Sausage Shop and the American Packing Company. They both look like they are sort of uh, sort of deli-type places. But okay, that's lovely. Respect is rising. Oh, no, 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 don't go up there. And a new corner has joined. And yeah, we've got ourselves a couple of new places to go and talk to. Okay, let's talk to you. We've got plenty of action points. We've taken control of this corner. Um, yeah, this is just the... Oh, hang on. Do we want to... Hmm, hang on. Do we want to do some selling to them first? They want brick wine and hard cider. Two things we haven't got. Okay, let's go talking about our arrangement again. Let's just see if we can um, demand payment from them. Let's see if that's going to work. Extortion, your kind makes living here awful. Okay, so she said no. And yeah, they're definitely not going for that, are they? Okay, I'll deal with you later. <laughs> we'll sort... Oh, no, hang on. They are paying us protection money. Oh, they did go for it. Okay, that's fine. And um, you, Lillian Mitchell, hello. Um, do you want to buy grape concentrate? That's not good enough. Okay, and we'll do the same thing again. Demand some payment. I don't know where this is going. The answer is no. Okay, we'll come back in a bit. We'll come back in a bit. We'll try and get some, uh, try and get the opinion of you up maybe a little bit. 
that could be quite handy. So there is this concept here of um, they have friends. So they've got themselves a couple of friends. Oh no, they haven't got friends, in fact. The connections they have in common, however, is Donald Gross. So her brother works at the sawmill, which I think we sort of popped by before, didn't we? Yeah, we went over there before. So there are little sort of family relation things going on. And that's what we can use. Oh, we haven't got any favours with those. That's what we can use if we go to here, say, when we go to that. Bit of support with a common friend. So you could, say, go to that lady there and say, look, if we had a favour with her, we could say, look, I wouldn't mind some more reputation with your brother. Oh, there we go. And then it will increase. Okay, right. I think then, um, how is the front doing? There we go. Um, oh, that's expanding the territory. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, come out of that, come out of that. Where do you want to go now? I think we might need to head up here and try and go up here. I think having this guy on board might be quite useful. There are no skills. Ooh, okay. Hang on. Go up to here. Chat to this guy. Favour you owe me. We want to expand our territory and take over this part of the city. I want you to run a front for us. Okay, so what's involved? What happens? It'll be an honour to work for us. Um, spend 320. You must have 320 on your person. Oh, botherations. Hang on. <laughs> Just got to go to the bank. The bank, which is in no way just a cupboard at the back of back of our little storage room. Right, hang on. He wants quite a lot of money, but that does get us a big bit of stuff to control. So there we go. That'll do. Finish loading. Uh, yep. Pop back up to here. Chat to that guy. Um, favour. Yep. Do all that stuff again. And there we go. Shake on it. Splendid. A new corner now acknowledges that you and your crew are in charge around here. And by you and your crew, you just mean you. But okay, there we go. So now we've expanded quite a bit in a bit of a sort of an L shape at the minute. But then I suppose what we could do is go here and here and then cover this sort of block in the centre there. That would be sensible. That would be a good thing to do. Okay, now that guy says they've got skills. I'm looking to learn some new skills. Okay, what can you tell me? Truck driving? Oh yeah, okay. I need more details. Explain what you mean. Truck driving. Learning about delivery driving will increase the number of trucks you can operate and will decrease wear and tear. And it unlocks a small truck repair bay. Okay, that sounds fun. That sounds useful. What do you need? Um, can do a few things first. Deliver 300 monies. Okay, hang on a minute. I'm a little bit... <laughs> We're not quite at that point yet, my, my good sir. We're not quite there yet. And hello, what skills do you want to teach me? Oh, you want to teach me truck driving as well. Okay, hang on a minute. Would you like to buy some homemade beer? I think I've got some of that. Yeah, there you go. Five crocs of that. Enjoy, please. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's nothing useful particularly. Another idea. Let's see you around. Okay, so they're both going to try and teach us how to drive trucks. What have we got? Oh, we've got no action points left. Okay, never mind. Is our thing set up yet? Is our thing set up yet? We'll go to the next turn. Hang on. Drive back this way. Is that working? Is it all here? It's still under construction couple of turns oh my goodness me right well let's try and get that done shall we so we'll pop back up here and we'll see if this man would like any more stuff homemade beer he wants three bits yay a little bit of money coming our way and then we'll drive down to the tea guy oh we can talk about the cost with henry morgan in his fancy tea shop let's talk about the cost because he does like us quite a lot he likes us quite a lot i think we could get 20 percent more from him Yes, there we go. There we go. So his opinion came down by seven points, but because we've been dealing with him so much anyway, he's kind of absolutely fine with it. So 960 we're going to make. That's actually quite good. There we go. 8640 coming our way. Very welcome indeed. And did that guy want anything? What do you... Oh, you want cigarettes. Yeah, we've not come across those yet. They're not a thing that we've kind of happened across. Okay, where can we go now? Where can we go now? Um... I mean, do you want to... We didn't finish discussing the thing. Are you... No, I still destroy property. Okay, they're still not going for it. She's still not going for the protection racket thing. Okay, so sandwich guy, Calvin Burton. He sorted out this little... Uh, this corner over here for us. He's now proposing that we do exactly the same thing just here. The only thing is, there's nothing really there for us to have. There's no sort of businesses or anything there. We can't do much with it. We're just going to control it, which is fine, because you know, it might lead on to other things. But right now, that's not overly brilliant. That's not really very exciting at all. I will think about that. We'll come back to that because that's not really going to do too much at all. 
And yeah, that's not very exciting either, is it? Okay, what can we do then? How about if we head to here, insufficient movement. Oh, right, we're completely out of movement points. Okay, go to the next turn. Ooh, ooh, okay. Police are descending at the corner of Dickens and Evergreen. Okay, hang on, hang on. Is that this corner? Yes, examine that corner. So the corner of Dickens and Evergreen is just there. So the police are thinking that something dodgy is happening. You met some officers. Okay, hello, officers. And they're descending at the corner of Gutenberg and Central over here. Oh, bother, Oceans. Okay. <laughs> We're not doing anything, officers. We're just, we're just having a lovely time in our car. Just depositing all this money into a cupboard. And that stuff in the back, it's uh, medicine for a, a, a very sick auntie of mine. Is it worth going for a drive up here just to see what there is? It will take pretty much all of our movement points. So it's going to be a kind of, yeah, we're not going to do much else when we're up there. But let's go and have a look up here. Aha, there are a couple of businesses here and we have got action points. So let's identify that. Another lovely sandwich counter and that is another kind of car repair place. Wow, that's many of those. And then can we come down here? Aha, and we can also have a look at the green table, which is a nice cafe. Okay, what do you want to buy? Cigarettes. Okay, goodbye for now. And then if we go back up here, so then look at these. What do you want to buy? You want to buy cigarettes as well. And what about here? They just fix vehicles. Okay, never mind. So we can't do much over that way right now. But yeah, the cops are the cops are on our patch. The cops are in our territory. That's that's not wonderful to see, is it? However, go to next turn. I think our thing is ready. You finished building a new operation and it is ready to go. Okay, that's very exciting. Right, can we get back here without being bothered by the cops? Yeah, we just sort of drove past them because it's fine. We're just having a lovely drive around. Okay, and then we look here and yeah, it's doing something. So we don't have... Ah, right, we need stoneware crocs. So we can't actually brew the stuff right now. But look, the background picture's changed. We're now making some, making some home-brewed beer, which I'm sure is lovely. But okay, and then we can't appoint a manager... We haven't got any more crew people, but okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. What I think we'll do is, I think we will finish up for now, but we're going to come back to this because we've not quite covered everything in this. We've also just set up our own sort of production place, but we need to get some more people on board, and I think we can do that in the version of the game we've got. I think we can get more members of our little sort of uh, our mob, if you like. I think we can get more people. I might have to look up how we do that. I might have to go and have a little read of these sort of uh, the PDF sort of advice document thing they sent us. But I think that will be, that'd be worth doing. And then we can see what we can do with that. And then we'll see if we can expand a bit. Be nice to get over to uh, to that side there and have like that block. So have sort of, you know, three sort of corners that way and three corners that way. That'd be quite nice. And then maybe come out this way. And then we need to explore a little bit too. Because of course, yeah, there's loads and loads of places around which we could expand into. So yeah, there is much going on, of course. But yes, we shall finish up for the moment and we'll come back and just see how we get on next time out. But I've really enjoyed this. I have enjoyed this a great deal. And the fact that this is only a sort of, you know, like a preview build, like an alpha build, the fact that this is only going to get better and be improved, that's very promising. That is very promising indeed. So, uh, so yeah, looking forward to playing some more of this. We will see how we get on next time out, but we'll finish up for the moment. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, then please do leave a like. That would be very lovely indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in City of Gangsters. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. You can be the last accounting office. City tax offices. Boo, tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he going to use the stairs or is he going to be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. And all the lights are on. And I noticed that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets.